Right, well I want to remove the flywheel bolt and to do that I strapped down the uh, motor to the bench so it wouldn't tilt as I try to undo it and I have also locked up the crank by putting a 17 millimeter spanner in that front inspection cover and locking it against the stud so it wouldn't rotate. I'll now use a breaker bar just to undo the, uh, the bolt there. Whoever did that did it up very tight. Tighter than the actual torque necessary, I think. Right. No, I think that just came off. Yeah. No, I need the other bolt, the one in the front. So I'm going to have to lock up the teeth on the. Uh, on the crank on the uh, front side because this thing just won't budge so I couldn't uh, hold the crank still so I went to the front um, in front of the engine took the cover off and I've put on a little washer between the uh, the primary gears and that'll lock it in place and now I'll be able to do the undo the uh, bolt on the other side that with that washer at the front and I had to strap it down otherwise the whole thing will just rotate and now I'm going to use a M20 by 1.5 bolt to put in there to knock the, uh, the flywheel out so here's an M20 by 1.5 flywheel puller So the idea here is you turn it and that should pry the flywheel out, but if it doesn't, just knock it a little and just continue. Right, I hit it sufficiently and uh, cranked it sufficiently until it uh, let go and I'll just remove the and the whole thing's coming off now and just got to make sure you don't lose any of these rollers So I can remove the starter gear and the reduction gear and I can inspect these. So inspecting the uh, starter gear uh, we can have a look at the uh, surface where the starter gear rollers uh, engage and it's a bit hard to see but It'll be trashed if there's a lot of little indentations on it. And I don't know if we can see that with the light, but it's full of them. And the 650s are a lot harder on the starter gear than the, uh, on the starter mechanism than the 500s. And this one is pretty trashed. So it just happens that I have a uh, replacement that I bought second hand but it has the much smaller holes which means that the actual gear is a lot tougher a lot uh, less likely to bend and wobble and also I've 
already inspected it, but this surface here is in very good nick. So um, yeah, I'll be replacing that. Okay, so I was only going to replace the uh, the little rollers, the plungers, and the springs that go in there. And uh, then I noticed that one of my Torx screws was already loose. And the recommendation is not to reuse these if they come off for any reason. So I'm going to have to order some new Torx uh, bolts because I don't want to put these on. These starters do an awful lot of work and I don't think it's a good idea just to contravene Honda's recommendations. So I'm going to have to order these and that's going to have to wait until I get those bolts in and then I can finish it. Okay, I've got myself some uh, replacement uh, rollers, the plungers, some springs and the torque screws. So I can now go ahead and uh, uh, refurbish the, uh, the flywheel. something stuck in there. I have to investigate that. Could it be the old spring? Totally deformed. Yep, broken. Was broken. You can see the difference in size. And I can't see it in there. I'll just take all the other springs out. That's possible why it was having a bit of trouble engaging as well. So <coughs> I was having a lot of trouble putting in the springs with a plunger in one of them, the one with the short spring and I couldn't figure out why and I could feel that there was something stuck inside there so I was removed it, I started poking around and I, remo and I removed this extra plunger that was stuck in there and what they had done uh, whoever did this last time was replace all three plungers um, but there w must have been one stuck in there so they shortened the spring to make it work. Ha 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 ha. What a con job. bit of Loctite on these uh, new screws. And they're done up to 13 to 18 foot-pounds. Let's call it 15. And now ready to install the flywheel back.